Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing okay. Uh, if you're new here then hello, my name is Lisa and if you are returning then thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. So as you can probably see by the title today, today's video I'm going to be giving you my top five tips, top five tips to combat greasy hair. Now I am one of those girls that has to wash their hair every other day. Well, I did have to. So I've been searching for a solution for years and years and years. I used to be a hairdresser many years ago and even as a hairdresser I have struggled to combat greasy hair. I've not always had greasy hair. I think it's maybe hormonal, age. I do believe your hair goes through seven year cycles so maybe this is just my cycle. I don't know. But it is a real pain in the bottom, especially when you have longish hair and obviously, well, mine is naturally curly slash wavy. So it's not like I'm just wash and go. It's washing, it's blow drying and it's straightening. It takes up a good, I'd say, hour to do everything, which doesn't sound like much. But when you work, you've got a busy lifestyle, family, it's a lot to do all of the time. And obviously that just ends up being something that you really dread doing well it does it did for me anyway so i've tried a few different things um and i find this combination seems to work the best i've gone well the last time i did this so i've i've only tried it a few times but the last time i did it and every time i've i've done it i have gone from washing my hair every other day to managing to go four days without washing it and I think it was only on the very last day I had to use a little bit of dry shampoo, which, I mean, it, it's, just, it's just amazing to be able to go from every other day to four days. I mean, it's just, I love it. Okay, so tip number one. This might seem really, really strange, but it does seem to really work. Uh, washing your hair upside down. So I now wash my hair over the bath, um, there's a couple of reasons washing it upside down. I really, really find that washing my hair upside down over the bath, it gets a better wash. I can reach all of my scalp better. My arms don't ache. And I just think it, it definitely gets a better wash. It might sound really odd, but I do really believe that that works. Number two. So I've tried loads of different... Um, shampoo and conditioner products along the way like i said i used to be a hairdresser many moons ago um and i've always used professional products i have tried so many to combat greasy hair and none have ever lived up to what they claim to do but i found this company by watching youtube videos of other people using them who absolutely rate them and i had to give them a try and that is hair burst so I use hair burst for greasy hair. It's menthol, uh, your hair is squeaky clean afterwards and I do believe it's definitely, definitely helped with my greasy hair. Number three, this is quite an obvious one um, and probably mentioned loads and loads of times before, but that is when it comes to your conditioner, conditioner, sorry, only apply it to mid lengths and ends and i also find washing your hair upside down that really helps because i find if i wash my hair in the shower for some reason i always manage to get a little bit conditioner in my roots or i don't i don't know it always ends up in my roots when it's upside down you can clearly see your hair in front of you even if you've got probably mid length hair um, and it's just easier to target those mid lengths and ends. Number four, apply products only to the mid lengths and ends. So I use Coco and Eve, their serum. I've used lots of other products in the past, including um, Olaplex, um, I don't know, lots of different oils. And the Coco and Eve one seems to be amazing, but you do have to be really careful to not use too much because that can make your feel, hair feel not on the great side, kind of a bit tacky. 
um, but again, only apply to mid lengths and ends. So obviously you would have washed your hair like I have. You take it out of your towel upside down, brush it upside down, and then apply your product while your hair and your head is still upside down. That makes sense. Next, number five, this is my last tip. Again, it might seem a little bit odd, but there is logic to it. And that is blow dry your hair upside down. Now, I find that this lifts the hair away from the scalp. And obviously, if you think about it, hair sitting on the scalp, um, you're probably going to get hotter. Um, it's going to produce more oil. The hair is away from the scalp, it's less likely to get as greasy as quickly and that is the same principle with using shampoos for volume um a lot of the times when i've been to salons and i've actually had my hair professionally washed uh, i have been advised that they are using a volume shampoo for greasy hair because it works in the same principle as supposedly lifting the hair away from the scalp Personally, I don't really believe that that happens with a shampoo, um, but definitely with your hair, washing it upside down, blow drying it upside down, 100% agree um, that your hair is lifted away from your scalp. And I really believe that all these five things truly help with combating greasy hair. Please give this a go. Let me know in the comments whether it worked for you. I know myself, I've been searching for a solution for many, many years. I've watched YouTube videos. I've Googled anything to just give me a couple more days without having to wash my hair. And I really think that these things work. I'm going to carry on using these five things myself. Um, the only thing I would say is blow drying your hair upside down. I mean, my hair is naturally sort of wavy. When you do, I blow dry it till it's about 90% dry. Then I flick my head back over and then I smooth it down. Uh, the only thing I would say is your hair is quite wild when you obviously lift it back up because it has been blow dried to, for, to dry in a different direction. So just bear that in mind. But it's nothing that you know, a quick blow dry with the brush or straighteners afterwards fixes. And if anything, you've got lovely volume to your hair. So that's an also added bonus. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Really hope that it helps some of you combat your greasy hair. Take care, everybody, and I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs>